first of all the subject name is information communication networks in this subject we are going to cover about various digital to analog conversion mechanism analog to digital conversion and digital to digital conversion mechanism after that we are going to cover about wireless network generations in the second chapter we are going to discuss about the various concepts of wireless cellular communication here we will discuss about cells clusters their coverage area cell splitting cell sectoring and frequency range concepts in third chapter we will discuss about global system for mobile communication that is gsm here we will discuss about the gsm architecture components in gsm architecture functionality of gsm architecture mobile originated calls and mobile terminated calls and sms etc in the next unit we will discuss about latest trends in icm like proto sigmi panet etc this is the course outline for this subject first what is icm here we have three words information communication and networks i think you all know what is information and what are the benefits of it information is a set of process data which is obviously meaningful it may be in any format like graph charts pictures plain text also as shown in the figure communication means exchange of information between at least two devices or two persons and network means collection of more devices for the purpose of communication of information or data so in combination icm means the network through which information can be communicated between both parties with the help of some devices and some technologies about the applications of icm instead of discussing applications let us discuss like without communication all technologies relating to transfer and receiving of any kind of information is information communication technology without communication of information Would you ever think of using internet in any form like chatting, e-commerce, Facebook, Google? You can't even access any network or even your cell phones or any communicating devices. We will not be able to watch our favorite shows. We will not be able to travel across the world on aeroplanes or even safe journeys of ships or to operate train networks digitally without communication of there can be a situation like unmanaged traffic deadlocks stations time management is not possible no contact with the pilots or captains in military or defense field we will not be able to use radars in our international borders in land sea or air not be able to operate drones for defense as well as civil purposes not be able to use or develop missiles As the history of network depicts its origin in national defense, later on it is used everywhere in our life. Like as discussed earlier, in using internet via base stations, transmitters, and receivers, various more technologies like G, 3G, etc. In entertainment world, in news and weather forecasting also, in traveling mechanism, in addition, it is used in defense purposes. Even I am being able to take the online video lecture is because of it. You are getting things, even knowledge also in digital platforms is because of this. Without it, we will jump back to the age of 18th century. There are thousands of advantages. We are generation of 21st century because of this technology. We will learn many more things, many more technologies in other video lectures. Till that, thank you so much, and keep like, sharing, and subscribe to our channel.